Welcome back. It's nice to see you again. Today, Pixelmator 3.0 just dropped, and it is a huge update for YouTubers, especially if you want a consistent professional look for your channel that doesn't take you hours to build up. I'm serious when I say this, every single feature in the new update is targeted specifically at YouTubers that want to take their channel to the next level. So today, I'm not just going to show you how these features work. I'm going to show you how to use those features to take and build your own template that is custom to your channel and can be reused for every single thumbnail that you make. Let's jump into it. Now, the first thing you're going to see in this new update is this revamped template chooser. You're going to see all of these traditional 2D templates at the top for print and similar. And then at the bottom, you're going to see these more 3D mock-up style templates. Let's crack open one of these so you can get a feel of what this new templating system is actually capable of. So after you open the template, it downloads. You can see I've got a couple new UI affordances that were not there before. In the bottom right, I've got this new ability to change the lighting for my scene. Now this is a really useful feature that can be used for more than just changing lighting and I'll show you how in a minute. The other thing you're going to see is this useful plus button at the bottom and this is used to swap out content. So for example, let's say you've designed your own book cover. You wanna swap it in here. Maybe you've got your own photo. I'm gonna pull one from my photos library and just drop it on there as the replacement book cover. And now that I've got this image dropped in, maybe the green and purple theme doesn't really match the book cover and this is where their color templating system comes in. It easily matches colors in any vector that you have on your document and makes it easy to swap them out with different themes. So in my case, I kind of like this brown theme. I think it works with the book cover. So that gives you a feel of what's possible. Let's show you how to make one for your YouTube channel completely custom to you and still high quality, professional looking. I'm gonna create a new document. I like to design my thumbnails at the 4K resolution. Now that I have that, I'm gonna drop in some icon images. I regularly make tutorials and I like to have in the bottom corner a little thumbnail showing you which product this tutorial is for. So I'm going to drag all of the icons I commonly use into that bottom corner. Now I can select them, right click and turn them into a group and if I come up here to the format menu option, I've got some new choices. And in this advanced menu, I can actually make them a multi-select group that makes it so I can switch between options. And you can see, as soon as I apply this, I get this handy new UI. Now in my case, I like to have it a little rotated, adds a little dynamism, UI still shows up and I can swap these out. So now I've got the basis for my template when I'm doing any kind of tutorial. Next, we need an interesting eye grabbing background. So I'm just gonna go ahead and insert from my photo library. I'm gonna drop in a sunrise photo that I recently took. And if I go up here to the format options again, in these advanced options, I have the ability to make it so that this is a placeholder. That means that as I'm taking on new thumbnails in the future, I can swap it out. So maybe I've got this new thumbnail that I'm working with that's a hiking in the mountains thing. Maybe I'm not even using this because it's a hike in the mountains. Maybe I'm using this because it's a reaction video and I want that facial reaction, but I need the subject cut out. No problem, Pixelmator handles that. I can just come up here to edit and do delete background. And just like that, I've got a nice clean background. I can add whatever elements I want. Now let's jump ahead to text. Text is something that I do for almost every single YouTube thumbnail. In this particular one, I really regularly do these travel style cinematic vlogs and I like to spell out in big the name of the location or why it's interesting and then underneath it like a subcaption. Now the one thing that you might not have noticed in this process as I'm building up these text elements is that in the top right corner it's already paying attention to what I'm doing. So I've got a shadow, I've got this yellow color. It's already picked up both of these elements on these texts and it's made it into a templated color system. So now if I come up here, I can actually duplicate this color palette and I can make changes. So maybe in the future, I've got a background image that doesn't really work with yellow text and a black shadow. Maybe I want white text and a orangish glow around the outside. I can edit these colors and forevermore it will save that palette. When I reuse this template, I just pick the new color system I want and it immediately matches. And what that also means is that from YouTube thumbnail to YouTube thumbnail, if I have similar looking thumbnails, I wanna use the same colors over and over and over again, I'm consistent, it's on brand, and it looks really professional. Now that I've got this template built up, all I have to do is save it, save it as a template here on my desktop, and now whenever I want to reuse this, I just open it up, and I come up here to File, 
and duplicate. And voila, I've got my new templated YouTube thumbnail ready to go. I swap out the icon, I swap out the background image, I edit the text, and I'm done. It's minutes versus hours over the long run, and it makes a huge difference for YouTubers that are trying to make the most out of their channel, and they still want it to look consistent and professional. All right, that's all for this update. If you want to check out the previous updates, those are linked in the description below. And if you want to see more updates and how to make the most of your YouTube channel using these great tools that aren't going to break the bank, make sure you like and subscribe. All right, we'll catch you next time.